The London Independent reports a major investigation has been launched into contracts awarded by coalition forces in Afghanistan that are worth hundreds of millions of dollars. The probe has been ordered by Major General Nick Carter, ISAF commander for the south of the country. The investigation is prompted by mounting concerns that the very money supposed to win over the hearts and minds of Afghans is ending up in the hands of the Taliban, drug lords or profiteers. A third of the costs of supplying the armed forces in Afghanistan are spent on paying protection, bribery and safe passage fees. And according to Afghan experts who spoke under condition of anonymity, everybody is complicit. Trucks pay a Taliban tax of up to $1,500 each time they venture out from Karachi to Camp Bastion. And millions are being made by a clique around Afghanistan's president, Hamid Karzai, many of whom have interests in transportation and private security. Members of prominent Afghan families, including Hashmat and Ahmed Wali Karzai, brothers of President Karzai, and Hamed Wardak, the son of the defense minister Rahim Wardak, are among those accused of controlling private security firms benefiting from lucrative security contracts by paying off the Taliban. According to aid organizations in Afghanistan, as little as a quarter of the aid money pumped into the country actually stays in the country. Despite billions spent on aid since 2001, Afghanistan remains one of the most corrupt and poorest countries in the world.